hi guys welcome back to my channel again so today i'll be showing you guys how i make my steak stir fry yes this is beef steak stir fry with vegetables yes it's very delicious very yummy and very easy to put together and i'll be enjoying this with my jollof rice but jollof rice is not on this video but if you want to see the video for this uh, jollof rice you have to subscribe yes if you're a returning subscriber thank you guys for coming back if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe to this channel yes and give this video a thumbs up and let's get started So guys i'll go ahead and introduce the soy sauce that i'll be using for today in this little bowl i have a dark soy sauce i also have sesame oil and oyster sauce and i added some beef stock so that's all i have in this bowl right now so you can use whatever sauce of your choice to make this recipe and here is my beef I already washed them and chopped them up to my preferred size yes you want it to be as thin as possible yeah so that's what i'm going to be using today and to that i'll be adding um, grated ginger and also i'll be adding some grated garlic yes so that's what i'll be adding and i'll be adding some red crushed pepper because you want it to be spicy this is a steak steak stir fry you want it to be spicy yeah so this is fresh rosemary that i just plucked from my garden yes so i'll just go ahead and plug that up and just put it in there so like i said you can use any seasoning of your choice for this yeah you can just make this your own use whatever kind of seasoning you want to make this recipe so after that i'll go ahead and combine them together you can use your bare hand but i just feel like wearing gloves at this one at this point so i'll just once they are well mixed up together i'll go ahead and add in my soy sauce so it's looking pretty dark because i'm using dark soy like i said before so i added dark soy sauce i also added the oyster sauce sesame oil and the rest of the seasoning that i already showed to you guys so i went ahead and wrapped these guys wrap them up properly So once they are all well wrapped up, you just want to make sure they are well wrapped so they don't leak or for any reason. So I'll put them in my fridge. Then the next day, you don't have to do this overnight. You can do this for like 30 minutes. That's fine. So the next day, because I did it in the evening, so I had, I had a lot of time ahead of me. So I decided to just leave it there. So the next day, this is what it's looking like. And I want you guys to know that I had more people that was interested in this. So I added a little more beef to that. So that's why it's looking a little bit bigger right now. So this is my veggies that I'll be using. Use any favorite veggies of yours. So this is what I'll be using for this steak fry. So I'm using some carrots, some onions, some green bell pepper. So in my skillet bowl um, pot or pan, I added some vegetable oil. So I'll go ahead and uh, place all of them in the pan. So once I have everything in the pan, I'll go ahead and uh, try my best to see that they are all laying 
in a separate like individually you don't want it to be over each other so you just have to try to see how much you can you know make sure that they are laying individual as you can see all the soy sauce are just bubbling out of the meat so but i'll keep frying this until they are all you know all the water is gone you only see the oil so meanwhile we'll go ahead and mix up our thickener so i'm adding um cornstarch and what i have on that bowl is just um, light soy sauce So this is what the meat is looking like it's well dried not really dry it looks dried outside but it was very very juicy inside so as you can see it's only the oil that is left now all the soy sauce has been evaporated into the meat so guys i did not add any salt i did not add any salt to this because soy sauce contain a whole lot of salt in it by itself it has a lot of salt in it so the same oil that I used to fry the, so, um, the meat, so I'll just go ahead and add in some grated garlic and grated ginger and fry them all for like 30 seconds. So like I was saying before, try not to add extra um, salt unless you're not using soy sauce like a lot of soy sauce but i did use a lot of soy sauce so that is a lot of salt for me already i don't like too much salt in my food so after 30 seconds of stirring this around because you don't want to over fry those um, garlic and ginger so i added my vegetables so like i said before few a lot of people was interested in this beef so i added more vegetable as well which is broccoli because the first time when I introduced the veggies to you guys, there wasn't any broccoli on it, but now I had some. So I went ahead and stirred that guys off in the garlic and ginger and until everything is well mixed together. So I did this for like 40 seconds, 45 seconds to one minute. So this is my soy sauce uh, mixture. So like I said before, what I have in that bowl was just a um, light soy sauce and cornstarch. So immediately I pour that in, they thicken up very fast. So I needed to add a little bit of water to loosen that up. So I added a bit of water just to loosen it up because I don't want the, um, the thickener to get stuck in one spot. So I have to add a little bit of water to loosen it up so they can separate to all the corners. So look at that, but having it in mind, you don't want to over fry your veggies. So after a few seconds, I added my fried beef, which is my steak. So I added that up and I set everything up and let it simmer together for extra 30 seconds to 45 seconds and it's looking all done looking so amazing so at this point i already went ahead and turned my stove off but it's still on the hot surface though but i already turned my stove off and look at that it's looking so amazing it looks well cooked but at the same time very crunchy yes because you don't want to cook your vegetable until they become so saggy no you don't want that look at the beef they're looking so juicy right now so you can just go ahead and enjoy this the way it is yeah just enjoy it as it is you don't have to do anything special just relax and enjoy so look at that look at those carrots looking so fresh but it's cooked So I hope you guys really give this a try because it came out so amazing, so delicious that my family enjoyed it very well. Yes, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If this is your first time on this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you all for coming back. So guys, I'll be enjoying this, my delicious 
homemade steak stir fry with my homemade jello fries yes if you want to see this recipe for the jello fries <laughs> you have to like click on the subscription button and turn on the notification bell so you know when this rice is up yes it tasted so amazing so so delicious so wonderful yes i can tell you guys how good this is how good it was all right guys i hope you guys had fun watching this recipe i hope you give it a try and i'll see you guys on my next video stay blessed and stay safe bye Bye-bye.